guys. I'm back. Let me turn that down. <laughs> um, I'm doing a Danny Minogue look tonight. It's very wild and dark and different. Not everybody's going to like it, but we're going to do it for fun. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I already did one side of my face and my lips, and I've done my powder and, and concealer. Well, my foundation powder and concealer. So now I'm just using my Pro Palette, which I've used in quite a few of my videos now, and I love it. Um, <clears throat> I got it off of eBay. You, if you go to eBay, you just type in Pro Palette, and tons of them come up. And you can usually get them for around $30. And I can bust. There it is. Okay. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. And $30 is not that much for 120 eyeshadow colors. So tonight, we're going to be doing this. And I'm going to start with my small shading brush. And I'm going to take the flat white color from the palette, which is at the very top. And the very first on the left side of the palette. And I'm just going to put it down all over my eyelid as a base color. Mm. I'm going to try to do quite a few looks tonight since I missed a couple of days. Um, maybe get ahead a little bit. But it'll be fine. We'll see what we can do. Because I'm way behind. I have tons and tons of um, requests that I haven't gotten to yet. <clears throat> so next, I'm just going to grab the white color right next the color we were just using. It's the same white. It's just got some um, shimmer to it. And we're going to go right at the inner corner of our eye. Go up to just above the crease line. From our lash line to just above our crease line. And about one third of the way in on our eye. And we're just going to be building that up. If you have um, an eye primer, you can use that to make this part a little bit easier. It grabs the colors, keeps it from creasing. I just haven't gotten around to getting one yet. I have a lip primer, which I never use. Maybe one day we'll get around to using it. So, um, the next color we're using is a really, really metallic silvery. Shil sh silver. <laughs> I was about to say silver. But silver. <coughs> it's the sixth one to inward from the left on the top right. It's really, really pretty. And you'll see when it goes on, it's very metallic. It almost looks like a metallic paint once you get it on your eye. And I love it. And we're just going to take it out all the way across. And if you get any fallout from this color, do not wipe it with your hands. You will just smear silver all the way across your face and have to wipe it off with a wet wipe. Um, <clears throat> I've seen a couple of different ways that people have been keeping fallout off of their face. Which has been very interesting. I may have to try them out and tell you which one I like the best. Um, but I mean really, 
It's all your preference. Some people may like one better than the other, but I'll try them out and let you know which one worked the best for me. One of them was I saw someone take a small post-it card and um, just put it right here under her eye with the sticky that comes with post-it cards and just it caught everything that fell and I've seen someone put like a ton of loose powder under here and then when they got done with all of their colors they just brushed the loose powder away with their own blush brush so now what we've just done right here to just kind of darken this up was I took the color right next to that really silvery shimmer silver <laughs> and um, put it just right there and the next thing I'm going to do is grab my big eye contour brush and I'm going to grab the black which is the very last color on the top row on the far right and I'm going to start on the inside corner and just make me a line out and then I'm going to round it up and put it just above and in the crease of my eye and then pull it in. We just want this brown shape out here. <clears throat> and we're going to build it up. And we're not going to take it all the way in because we don't want it too far. Either. But we'll take it a little ways in. But we want that outer corner really, really dark. And then we want it to gradually get lighter. Alright. So now we're going to grab our eyebrow brush. We're going to wet it on our wet wipe. and grab that silver color, which was the sixth one in on the top row. We're going to start on the inside corner and pull it across, all the way across. Okay, wipe that off and grab the color right next to that, which is the darker silver color. And we're going to go back over the light silver. 